Could shader compilation be done with a minimized app when a PC is idle? I often buy a game before going to bed so that it will be downloaded <laughs> before I wake up. It would be great if hand if shader compilation was handled during that time. So this is an interesting response to your your manifesto for PC gaming, Alex. Um, yeah. Obviously, number one point was eliminating shader stutter. And the concept is that basically your system needs some downtime to generate the shader caches. This is an interesting idea, but surely it's the case you need the game code running to, to, to compile the shaders. It couldn't be a separate offline process, could it? I, I want to say that it could be, but it would have to be. So imagine you download the game and it already has a lot of the files on your system at that point in time, including like the, the, the DirectX or Spurvy, whatever code that needs to be compiled. I think they could do it actually as an offline setup as part of the install, but it throws up a lot of other questions as in there needs to be the infrastructure as a part of Steam to include it in the install process. Because like, for example, sometimes when you download a game on Steam, you can see that there are also multiple parts to the process of setting up a game. Like there'll be a verification stage, there'll be an unpacking stage, and you can see the differences on what it's doing to your PC in that moment in time. This would be another stage of the Steam install at that point. And I think it's doable. But the thing that is that is the big problem is, of this is the only time you need shaders compiled is not only when you download and install the game the first time. For users that have the game on their system for long periods of time, every single time they change their driver or maybe their Windows version or maybe the game version or the, the hardware of their GPU itself, maybe they're going to need a new shader compilation stage, at which point, where does the responsibility lie for the shader compilation to occur? Is it with the Steam client at that point in time? Is it some separate thing in game? I think this just is like leads to more problems and complications at this point in time. I like the idea in general, though. I like the idea that there could be a way to do it in an offline way, regardless of what the game does, which is currently not offered for anything. Um, but I don't I think it requires a little bit more support in the industry and some a lot of thought, too, which is something that's missing right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but I, I did get one really quick thing I want to mention is I did get a really good, uh, on discord. I think someone, uh, in, in our channel wrote to me saying that they did pose the question to NVIDIA about, um, distributing shader caches. Yes. Uh, and, and this was fascinating where they said, uh, they don't have the ability to do it, uh, or it would be too much essentially, but that they're already doing it for, uh, Gosh, I forget the name of their streaming service. GeForce all of a Now. GeForce Now. They're already, already behind the scenes of GeForce Now. And I kind of want to test this to see if it's actually true with a game that we know that has shader compilation stutter. Um, mm. Because if it is true, that means they already have the ability to do this. It makes sense that they could, though, because every GeForce Now server blade, especially now with the upgrade, is going to be the exact same hardware. So they ha can have just really easy um, shader caches being built out for them. But it makes me wonder how they're building them without running the game. Right. Uh, maybe this is something that we should actually pose a direct question to NVIDIA about to figure out what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Could be good advertisement for their <laughs> for their service, maybe, in the end. Uh, but I would love to know how it's being done and investigate that. Or maybe they do play the game and they have an NVIDIA employee that's tasked <laughs> the guinea pig. with every game with maximum well, the N NVIDIA shader the cash. The NVIDIA shader yeah, exactly. butler. We'll, we'll see. He's locked in a room, <laughs> generates his caches. Oh, well, gosh. Poor, poor dude. I, I do actually have the, uh, it literally arrived yesterday, the GeForce Now 4080 um, uh, service. So, yeah, I will give it a go. Mm -hmm. We'll see what happens do, there. Do tell. It is interesting, though, that they say that they've still got optimizations to make for the Witcher next gen. Uh, <laughs> which I feel like I, I, I need to try... Uh, GeForce Now again. Okay. Now it should be, we should be able to uh, just, sort that out for you. As I've been pretty harsh on streaming, obviously, and I am just curious. Well, all I can say is I do have gigabit state. internet now, so I have got optimal conditions for using a streaming service. And I played uh, just as uh, with mouse and keyboard. I played Ghost Runner this morning, the demo, because it's you know it's freely available. You can just spool it up. Oh, that's a good. Test. And um, with keyboard and mouse, the latency. I mean, you can tell it's not quite as good as local but it's not that far away there are other issues though yeah, uh, that... so ghost runner is a game where in the first like 10 seconds of a the game there's a shader comp stutter yeah oh yeah was... when he jumps down and slashes that guy yep. i think <laughs> well, I didn't so notice if that. 
If it's not there, that's very curious. Happy days. Yeah. yeah.